Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. In this video, I am going to explain you how we can enable or disable external sharing in Office 365 SharePoint Online. We will understand how external sharing works in SharePoint Online. So now let's understand what it means. Your SharePoint Online allows you to share content with people outside your organization. Those may be your partners, your vendors, your clients, or your customers. You can share content also between multiple Office 365 subscriptions. For example, as an organization, let us say if you have two or more subscriptions, then you can also share content between these uh, Office 365 subscriptions. But the decision always should be considered at uh, should be always considered at the organization level. Meaning, if you want to uh, uh, share your content or not, that decision should first taken uh, as per the organization level. Whichever option you choose at the organization or at the site level, the more restrictive functionality is still available. I'll, I will tell this point in when you will see the options. The default sharing uh, for Office 365 group enable site is always new and existing guests. So that means new and existing guests will always uh, can see uh, the content. But the default for the communication site or the classic SharePoint sites is always within the organization. But that means there will not be no external sharing by default. And the best practices is if you have any confidential information, then that should always keep inside a site or uh, where uh, there is no external site uh, or external sharing is enabled. So if you have any uh, confidential content, make this point very important because you never know uh, if by mistake you, so you share your content with external users, then that can create a problem. And next thing is we can control the sharing with external users at the tenant level as well as at the site level. So now let us open our Office 365 tenant and we will see how we can proceed for external sharing. Meanwhile, if you are interested for SharePoint trainings, then uh, or if you want to learn SharePoint quickly, then you can uh, uh, check out my SharePoint training courses. I have training courses in SharePoint, SPFX, Nintex, as well as the Power Platform, Power BA, Power Apps, and Power Automate. So if you are interested for this, check out the description of this video. You will get a link for the details. You will get also the coupon code for the same. So I'll open my Office 365 tenant now. So I will put admin.microsoft.com, which will open my Office 365 or Microsoft 365 admin center. That is the place where we need to first control our external sharing. So this is the Microsoft 365 admin center. Uh, click on show all uh, where you can see uh, the settings. Click on that and then again click on settings. These things might change uh, based on the uh, Office 365 sign up that I have to, you have done. This is the sign up that I have done recently, uh, Enterprise E5 uh, subscription, this one. So here go to services and if you we'll scroll down, then there you will see an option which is called SharePoint. Click on that and you can see here by default, the it will be you will always see any one option that means user can share files and folders using a link which will not require even a sign up that means it will work kind of a anonymous link where user can just click on the link and they can uh, see the content as well as you have the other option for example the first one you will see only people in the organization that means if you do not want to share with external users then you can check the first option and then if you'll see here, you can uh, share with ex uh, existing guest only, or you can have new and existing guests. So these options are there based on your requirement, organization requirement, you can enable this option. If you'll select the first one, then user will not be able to uh, share with external users. That is one thing. So this is first thing is the Office 365 level, uh, where you are at the tenant level or at the organization level, we have to enable this. Now, next thing is manage additional settings. If you we'll click on that, it will open your uh, SharePoint Online Admin Center because next thing is we have to change at the site level. So here you click on sites and then click on active sites. And here if you'll see, I have a fi finance group, uh, a 
uh, Office 365 uh, group enabled site. So it's a team site. Just click on this. Oops. Click on the name, which will open your group details. And if you'll see here, click on policies and then external sharing. You can see here this site can be shared with new and existing guests. As I said, if it is a Office 365 enabled site, then you, this will be the default option. Click on edit and then you will see the options here. For example, anyone can see it um, or new and existing guest, existing guest or only within the organization people can, can see the content only. That means you do not want to share or to uh, yeah to share with external users so even if you have the option at the office 365 uh, label which is enabled here also you can control it that means this is a site which i don't want to share i can disable simply here but when you will select this anyone or new or uh, an existing guest also you have the option where you can uh, a limit by domain for example you can just check this option limit sharing by domain click on add domain and here you can add or block domains so that uh, if you'll say allow only specific domain so whatever the domains i'll put in different different line only those domains people can see it similarly if i'll say block these domains then you can see here this domain will be blocked that means the link will not open in those domains so that things also you can do uh, at this level and similarly, if you'll see the def uh, default sharing link type, so you will be having a link. So these are the settings we are taking at the organization level. And this is the default link permission. So by default, it will be user can edit it. You can just uncheck it and then you can, uh, if you don't want to, uh, or if you don't want your external users to edit the item, then you can just click on view. So let it be like this. And uh, sorry you can see here i will say anyone so in this case i i want to set it anyone and uh, then click on save so once you say anyone that means you can send with a link so that anyone can uh, uh, you, anyone can see this so once this is done if you'll go to the finance tool so first of all if you want to share the entire site you can do that through the outlook uh, but if you want to, let's say, share to a particular document or a library, for example, this is the documents document library. And if I want to share with an external user, then I will simply go to the library settings. And if you'll see here in the library settings, go to the permission uh, of this library. You can see here permission for this document library. Once you click on OK, then you can see here by default it is inheriting permission from the parent. If you want to manage it, you can just click on stop inheriting permission and you can say grant permission and then you will be able to actually share with external users here. So I'll put my external users, my Gmail ID, you can see it here and i will say share so before that you can see here it is showing that this email id is outside you for organization so what are the things uh, you want to share click on share so uh, this will be now shared with uh, uh, the particular user so user can user will receive the email i'll show you and uh, the other thing what you can do is uh, if you want to share the entire site you can go to outlook so you can do it from outlook and if you'll scroll down you can see here there is a there is a finance group so i'll click on discover group so we will just search for finance and you can see here there is a finance group over here is there on this if you'll see here you can go to the members you can say add members and here you can have this email id you can see here you can this email id click on add and now the user will also receive a email regarding this so now the user will receive two emails one is for uh, the site where we have shared the document library and the other one is where we shared the office 365 group so if i'll open my uh, uh, gmail you can see here uh, the user can user received one uh, email here uh, which is saying click here to the go to the document library so if you click on that you will uh, land with the document library and the other email i received is uh, regarding that finance group and in this case you can see here 
I will, you are getting the email details you can click here to go to the SharePoint so if you open that then the SharePoint library will open so sorry the SharePoint site will open so this is how you can uh, enable or disable uh, external sharing in in office 365 SharePoint online so if you like our videos then subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, you can see here um, um, you will get a lot of videos on SharePoint, SPFX, uh, Power BI, Power Apps. So all these technologies, Microsoft technologies, you will receive uh, video tutorials. Apart from that, you can visit our websites. So these are our Twitter handles and LinkedIn and Facebook. And you can like us in the uh, pages as well. So thank you and have a nice day.